hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima if you've not watched all the way from part one to part three please go and see it so that you understand what is going on here this is the last video in this series with that said let us get on with the video keep on watching another thing i would like to talk to you about is your vlogs this one is relative but for me i prefer vlogs where people the youtuber does a voiceover like um in there are some vlogs where you just do music all through you, you hardly hear the youtuber talk about what's happening in the video i zone out of such vlogs easily and i know there are some other people like me so because of that anytime i'm uploading any vlog i try to do a voiceover to explain whatever is happening in the video so it's relative though i'm sure that there are some people who prefer vlogs that have beautiful music so if if you don't want to do a voiceover then i suggest that you get really interesting music like it takes really really interesting music for me to watch a vlog fully without you know uh, fast forwarding it at all but if you're doing a voiceover i would stay glued to your videos from a to z <laughs> so and another tip i'm going to tell you about is just stay true to yourself like if you're the makeup type that's nice anytime you want to do your sit down videos by all means you know do your makeup and look all prim and proper but if you're not the makeup type don't go and start killing yourself and doing makeup just because you want to sit down and do youtube you will get tired that's just one thing i have noticed i can only use myself as a case study you will just get tired like me i cannot i can easily just sit down and shoot a video because i'm not the makeup type yes i know i'm a professional makeup artist but I find it tiring doing makeup on my own face so if i have to do makeup on my face before i sit down to do a video you can imagine how tiring how you can imagine how tired i will be at, anytime i think about shooting a video but if makeup is your your thing i mean it don't take you anything to do the makeup and shoot your videos so that's my point just be yourself when if you're doing vid um, youtube if you're shooting your youtube videos while being yourself it would reduce the stress it will reduce the you know trouble of thinking about oh god it's time to shoot videos again oh it's time to uh, just stay within your comfort zone as much as you can especially if you're a medical student because you know medical students we don't have the time so the little time that we have ah i can't come and be killing myself with doing any kind of advanced editing or crazy makeup and nice blah 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 just anything that will take my time i cannot so just be yourself if you're used to the if you can afford the luxury lifestyle by all means please do it by all means please go on with the luxury li lifestyle go to the crazy um boutiques go to the crazy restaurants and all that but if it's not your lifestyle if on a normal day you can't afford that please don't go by what everybody is doing go by what you can do go by what the god is leading you to do and another tip i'm going to tell you about is don't nag don't keep on nagging on people you keep on nagging on on your community tab keep on nagging in your videos people to subscribe 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 if you don't subscribe you're not supporting me I'm like jesus people will get tired like it once i get that kind of vibe there's one particular youtuber that i've been following for quite a while but everything she keeps doing is screaming if you've not subscribed to my channel you're a wicked person if you don't like that is emotional blackmail you're trying to make your subscribers i mean you're trying to make your viewers feel bad for not subscribing to your channel for god's sake subscription should be something that someone do because the person feels he or she likes your videos and wants to watch your videos you should rather you know try to talk to them about subscribing instead of forcing them every time if you don't subscribe to my channel this and this and this why have you not subscribed to my channel why are you wicked don't watch my videos if you're not going to subscribe are you for real i i get turned off completely by such comments and such you know statements so if you, you know you, you you get angry because your friends are not subscribed to your channel or you get angry because so, so and so people refuse to subscribe to your channel but for god's sake if you if you usually do that i strongly suggest you stop it because when you force people to subscribe to your channel they just do that for the subscription sake even this sub, sub for sub like you, i subscribe to your channel you subscribe to my channel like those things are crazy they just subscribe to your channel and they don't watch your videos and many of them even unsubscribe afterwards so it's crazy if you usually do that probably it's working for you you can continue 
but i strongly suggest if you're a new youtuber growing don't force people to subscribe to your channel just pray about it and let god bring your subscribers to you just trust god on that i strongly suggest you you know share your videos on naira land look for medical students if you're a medic medic youtuber look for medic medical students naira land spaces to share the link of your videos and if people like your videos they will certainly subscribe your aim should not be getting subscribers your aim should be getting viewers who truly love your videos and once that happens they will certainly convert to subscribers another thing that i'd like to tell you guys about is your youtube studio please try as much as it's within your power to go through your youtube studio check out your you know your impressions find out how people are getting to know about your videos find out where your videos are coming from like and um, which day was it like two days ago i was going through my youtube impressions and i was surprised to see that people are getting to know about my videos through google search like that's like so nice google search i also found out that people are getting to know about my videos through facebook and i do not have a facebook account so that's to tell you that there are people that are sharing your links to these places for the google search i'm not sure about how it works but that is where seo comes in if you didn't hear when i talked about seo please check the part one of this video i'll put the link up here for you check the part one i talked about youtube seo and how it can help your video to be discovered check out the keywords what keywords are driving traffic to your videos go to your youtube studio check the keywords what i suggest what i usually do is i go to the key i go to where the keywords are copy them go under the relevant videos and paste them there like this one one of my videos my anatomy my gross anatomy steeple chase video i discovered that people are getting to view that video and see that video through the keyword anatomy steeple chase what i had to do was to copy that keyword go under the video the anatomy video under the description box and paste it there anatomy steeple chase so in that way if someone search on youtube for anatomy steeple chase videos my video would probably be one of the recommended videos so um that is one thing i really suggest you do if you can another thing is to check check the countries that view your videos so that you know and understand if they are mostly nigerians you will know the kind of videos that you post and the kind of things you say in your videos if you have people watching your videos from other countries then there are certain slangs that you may have to interpret when you <laughs> say them in your in your videos because it shows that it's not just nigerians that are watching your videos in conclusion i've mentioned up to 10 tips so please if you've not watched all those 10 tips go and start from the first video in this series and watch all the way down here so that i've, I've pulled out my heart the things i did and things that i suggest to do which i am still working on so with that said i remain your girl jemima bye